Singrali, Central India. These people are about to be evicted and the forest they depend upon destroyed to make way for the construction of a huge coal power project. This project has been approved under the United Nations Controversial Carbon Offset Scheme, known as CDM. Nobody asked them before, you know, even deciding to take their land. You know, nobody ever came down to talk to them. You know, they came to know about it when their houses were numbered. As the world struggles with the escalating climate crisis, serious questions remain about the effectiveness of the UN's carbon offset scheme, amid claims that it destroys forests and ruins lives. The UK government is one of the biggest backers of controversial coal power projects under the UN's carbon offset scheme. The scheme should work by awarding credits to projects that will reduce carbon emissions in developing countries such as India. The UK and other developed countries can then buy the credits and use them to meet their emissions targets rather than actually reducing the carbon emissions domestically. But critics argue coal power, the dirtiest source of energy on the planet, should not have been included in the scheme. The buyer in the Global North continues polluting on the assumption that they can afford to do that because somewhere, somewhere else in the world, someone else is reducing. And if that's not happening, then, then overall you know, levels are increasing and that's hugely problematic. On the eve of the Climate Change Summit in Durban, the ecologist investigated a UN certified coal power project in India. The first aim of the carbon offset scheme is to reduce carbon emissions. Yet Indian energy giant Reliance is cutting down forests for their coal power project. The second aim is sustainable development. But to make way for the Reliance coal power project, people are being evicted from their forest homes and moved into small concrete villages. Reliance claims those affected will receive compensation, including employment, housing, education and health facilities. The people we spoke to suggest otherwise. Officially, Reliance declared to the UN that local communities have given their consent to this project. Amrawati Namdeo has lived in her house in Singrali all her life. She only found out she was being evicted when people came to measure her land. Amrawati's house will soon be demolished, replaced with a vast mine to fuel Reliance's high carbon emitting coal power plant. We have to take into account that coal power plants um, have an enormous amount of emissions. So they actually emit about 20 times more than they are supposedly reducing. The Reliance project is benefiting from a controversial methodology for calculating emission reductions in fossil fuel power plants. A loophole allows projects to exaggerate their emission reductions, creating millions of tonnes of false carbon offsets. This is currently being reviewed, but projects already approved will still profit from the sale of carbon credits. The UK investment bank Standard Chartered have helped finance the project. When approached, they refuse to comment in detail on the allegations. New coal power plants lock in hundreds of millions of tonnes of CO2 and um, given the two main principles of the CDM to reduce emissions and to contribute to sustainable development, it is hard to believe that the CDM is actually supporting this. 
Without major changes, it's difficult to see how the UN Carbon Offset Scheme can achieve its aims. But for the people of Singrali, any change will come too late.